In my last tutorial, I showed you guys how to basically make sure that your image and your camera, no matter where you move your camera, they always orientate in the same direction. And I realized that this doesn't have many use cases. Most of you just want the background to be fixed. And you also want the background to be, be visible in render. So I thought, let's create a new tutorial where I show you how to make the background visible and fixed. So first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, is press, go to edit mode, preferences, in the search bar type in image. And you wanna make sure you got your import, export, import images as planes turned on. It, if you got that turned on, then you can press numpad one to be in front orthographic view. Now all you need to do is press shift A and you've got an image and you'll notice that you've got reference background but now you also have image as plane. And don't worry, I'll show you how to do this without the plugin as well. But if you're using the plugin, you just click on image as planes, select an image that you want and press RZ90, S scale this puppy up, change to material viewport and there we can see it. If you see the wrong image, all we need to do is lift this puppy up here, change from timeline to your shader editor, click on this part here, zoom in, and just select which image you like. So let's say you wanted the snowman, you just open that image up and boom, now you have a nice background. The other way to do this, let's press X, delete, press Shift A, mesh, plane, and you can rotate this on the X axis 90 degrees, S to scale, S, shift Z to scale on the other two axes like that. And we've got a beautiful plane here, yeah? that's perfect. Now we can just add a new material. And once you've added a new material, all you need to do is go to your material properties by base color, you click here and you choose image texture and you can open and we can just use, I don't know, downloaded image texture. Let's say you wanted to use this as the background. And there you have it. It's, it's as easy as that. Now, the big question we had was, choose that one there. How, how obviously the, the plugin is, is probably a bit better to use, but now that we have an image that we wanna use, how do we make it tr track and stay at the background uh, in a better way? Well, we're gonna press GY, pull this back like this. And let's, let's select the camera. Well, let's select the image, go to Object Constraint Properties, and uh, add a new constraint and choose Damp Track like we did in the previous example. Then select the camera. And then choose, let's choose the camera viewport so we can see what the camera sees. Doesn't really help. Right, first thing I'm gonna do is gonna delete this, and I'm gonna put the camera in place. So the way I do that is, Select the camera. And let's just make everything zero quickly. Make the x-axis 90 and the rest zero, just as a starting point. And select the camera, press GY, put it back. And what we could do is open up a new tab here, press and to hide that, choose the camera view mode and select this box and press H to hide. And zoom in yeah and we can possibly move the camera a little bit further back G um, Y and I think that's probably the max more or less that I can do which I'm quite happy with now you can select your image go to the object constraint properties add damp tract and select your camera and make it negative Z or positive Z Positive Z is the correct one. And the next thing you wanna do is select your image as a plane, shift select your camera so the camera's light, control P, object. So now when you press G and you move this around, your background will stay in place no matter what. So also, if we turn on the rotation options, you'll see that the background will move and always stay in place which could be useful depending on what you want to do. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.